Hey crafty friends, welcome back. I have another fun new box to check out. It's called Bird Moss, as you can see here, a Glimpse of Magical World. And it is kind of like a little experience. And I'm super excited. And then it also came with this little tiny, isn't it cute, little teeny tiny introductory box. And so I thought we could go on this little journey together. So let's start with this little one. And the creator, I forgot, the creator of this box, her name is Shannon. And she's a wonderful poet and storyteller. And so this box is kind of like more about the experience and the journey. And it's really cool because once you sign up, she sends out periodic emails with poetry. And it's like this story of this journey to Bird Moss, which is a magical world and dreamland for us. And we get to visit there in our dreams all the time. And uh, it's just really fun and cool. And I'm like, super excited to get to get um, get this box. And, and there is a coupon code for you guys that I will share for $10 off at the end. So thanks Shannon for, so much for uh, sharing that coupon code with us. So we got, Welcome to Bird Moss, Your Story Awaits. The first dream. And then you're in a spot where moonlight filters through the leaves. Have you been here long? Only now are you attending and listening. The air is damp and earthy. You attempt a gesture and move with a kind of intentional drift. You cannot get a foothold or grasp. You pass into a tree and are surprised to feel the tingle of slow running sap. The tree creaks, or you creak. When you've drifted through to the other side, you're able to pluck up a few memories. Your room, your bed. Then you realize that you remembered nothing while you were the tree. You hear a... And I guess we can fill in the blanks. So let's see what we've got in here. We have some little crinkles. Oh, that's cute. A little glass bottle with some matchsticks. And it has a, a strike thing pad on the bottom. That's cute. And I'm out of matches too. I love matches instead of a lighter, like when you light a candle. We have this cute little box here. It's tiny. Aww. Look it. We have a bulb pen with a little turtle charm. How sweet. We have a little box here. I just got it stuck. There we go. <laughs> we have this cute little box. Some string. Oh, this is beeswax. Little tiny sheets of beeswax. Oh, how cute. I love beeswax. Making beeswax candles. Oh my goodness. They're teeny tiny little miniature beeswax candles. A little kit to make your own candles. So this is wick. Cotton wick. Oh, how cool. Oh, that's cute. I love that. 
I love making little stuff. Well, as you guys uh, know by now, I do love making like my own candles and body products, things like that. So, and what do we have here? We've got two more things, two little baggies. Move this over here. How about we go with this one next? Well, we've got two little crystals, they're very pretty green and black. It appears to me to be Kimbaba Jasper. Oh. <laughs> Let's read about it. Stones of Tree Connection. Connection amongst beings and elements by their nature is often multifarious and tangled. However, seeing and creating them can be a simple kind of work. Two tree stones have been quickened with earth. Gift one stone to a tree in your world, placing at the roots or in a crevice while explaining your desire for friendship. Keep the other stone yourself. Because the stones are paired, you will share a special connection with the tree going forward. Two AA grade Kambaba Jasper stones, ethically and sustainably sourced in Madagascar. Oh, isn't that such a sweet idea? I love that. That's cool. And I'm excited to know I was right about the kind of stone. Crystal. I'm gonna move this over here. Keep, try to keep our stones up here. Let's open our last little baggie here. It's a necklace, it looks like. It is. Oh, oh, it's the dand dandelion wishes. I wonder if I turn down the light, if you can see it better. What am I even pressing here? <laughs> that didn't help. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Can you guys see the little the little white fuzzies that you make a wish and blow and they float away? There's three little ones in here. That is so sweet. It's a wish necklace. Aw. I love it. What a sweet little box. So let's put this stuff back. And go on an adventure together to the world of bird moss. What a sweet little introductory box. I hope you love this mini box, Introduction to Bird Moss. Quick Dreaming, Shannon. All right, let's open our November box. So exciting. Gather pen, paper, matches. This is the start of it all, when finally dusk begins to fall and muffle the day's noises and needs. It starts with a tug, a beckoning scent, a rustle, the faint rattle of seeds. 
You didn't know that you were missing from a story pouring forward in another place. You break this seal and feel the skating brush of a wing. And then here's our seal with this beautiful navy tissue. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, that opens easily. Nice. I was hoping not to tear it. And then here is your first glimpse into the box. The fire tender. Quicken. I'm going to set the box aside. The fire tender is the oldest and wisest of the foxes. She teaches the young ones how to read meaning in the sparks, flame, and smoke, and how to make meaning with the ashes left behind. The foxes practice a type of herbal alchemy. The fire tender sets bundles of herbs and twigs alight and then uses them to draw glyphs in the air. Fire kills and fire quickens. The most sacred fire is fed with fallen cedar wood, which signifies both continuity and transition, passing from one phase to another, moving from one plane to another. The fire tender burns it at moments of difficult change, as the scent of cedar smoke evokes nostalgia and can bring comfort to those who mourn. Memories quicken the embers and ashes. Okay. We've got our paper here with our story. here to make meaning with ashes you dream to a stand of cedar in the forest the fire tender beckons you over and you watch her at work after she completes an herbal bundle she rummages through her supplies to present you with a quickening tool a pharaoh cerium rod, and a multi-purpose steel striker that can create a shower of sparks. She's marked its handle with a glyph. Use it with care because even a small spark can be dangerous. And here's our fire steel. And here's the glyph. It goes this way. And it means to quicken. And then I guess, you know, this is the kind of thing that you scrape along here to create sparks. And it's got a little bit of a ruler on it. This edge is let me try to get that to focus. It's kind of got grooves along this edge. And then you've got this interesting shape here. The foxes create botanical journals to hand down their alchemical knowledge. Their library is their collective legacy. Use these book plates to add your name to your own books, strengthening your connection to the wisdom they hold. Okay. Might be this. Oh, it sure is. 
Look at these book plates that came in this beautiful craft paper coin envelope. And we have the gorgeous fox surrounded by flowers, ex libris, and then a spot to write your name or a word. Oh, these are beautiful. There's a lot in here too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How An expert herbalist, the fire tender also knows how to use stones and minerals to support her practice. She tells you that slate is balancing, but also stimulates visions. Use it when summoning images to your mind's eye. Oh wow, we have this beautiful slate coaster here. And it's got the uh, felt discs on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up whatever surface you have it on. That's neat. The fox has used soapstone to jot down ideas and make calculations. In practical terms, it is dustless and easy to wipe up, but it carries other properties. It supports release from old routines and openness to new possibilities. Draw a glyph of your own design upon your slate. I think this is it. So we have this thin slab here. It does have some variation in color. I was picturing something though with lead on the inside like a pencil, so. Oh yeah, look, it does. Soapstone writes on the slate. Do you see that white? Wow, that's so cool. I didn't know that about soapstone. Maybe I shouldn't set it on there. Knowing me, I'll end up dragging it and marking it all up. Oh, but let's see. Does it rub off easy? Oh, it does. So you can, in a sense, erase it. Okay. I still don't want to make any marks that I don't want on there, just in case, you know. The fire tender offers you a packet of incense bricks created from naturally fallen cedar. She tells you, Dreamer, you have been releasing, but now it is time to accept. Summon and accept the new things which come next. To light the incense, hold one end of a brick in a flame until it burns by itself. Then place it unlit side down on your slate or other fireproof surface. Never leave burning incense unattended. Let's see. I wonder what it is. There's a couple of different things here. I don't think it's that. All right, here we go. So we have this beautiful box with this beautiful tree stamp on it. I really love that stamp that she has. Is this clear? And then we open it up and we have some 
little bricks like it says. And I noticed a little bit of dust in here so, and it was this reddish colored and I was wondering what that was and it's the cedar. Oh, and it smells good. I bet it smells even better when it's burning. Oh, yep, there's the <laughs> cedar wood dust. Let me dump that back in there. Oh my, look at the mess I just made. <laughs> Cover, uncover the fire tender's face there. After your incense burns down to ash, mix a portion of it with clay. Create a figure to draw and accept opportunities. An animal guide or a small money bowl. Allow it to dry. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's earth and clay. Red clay. Oh, wow. So mix the clay with the ash, cedar ash. Okay. The fire tender whispers over a bright leaf and tucks it into her thick fur. The leaf will crumble and blow away soon. But there is a way to create a longer lasting spell. Dye this length of silk orange for creativity and fire or purple for intuition and growth. Wear it or use it as a table runner. You are draped in warmth, in peace, in security and abundance. Fire tells the future and explains the present. What do we have here? I'm actually going to take this out of the bag. The bag has cedar dust on it. So I'm going to take this out. There's a bag over here. And I'm just taking the contents out. Inside we have a Ziploc bag. We have some sort of white granules, like maybe salt or something, or sugar. We have a packet here with two smaller pieces inside. And we have this silk. It's a scarf, I think, yeah. It's, you can see, you know, how wide it is. Let me just set it down here. Here's the bottom, here's the top. So that's how wide it is. And it goes, this is how long it is. So this is a scarf. 100% silk. The tag says 100% silk. 100% silk. It also had a paper. To dye a length of silk. Create a unique textile that evokes the colors of flames or autumn leaves. Your kit includes one 8 inch by 54 inch silk scarf with a hand rolled hem, two packets of dye, a vibrant orange marked with an orange dot and a deep purple, 
a packet of citric acid, a quart-sized microwave bag, two rubber bands, and instructions. Oh, I dropped the rubber bands in the box. Here they are. Awesome, so we're going to make, we're gonna dye a silk scarf, guys. That's exciting. Set these right over here. We also had this little card. Prescribed fire. The fire tender peers into her blaze. She keeps it lively but curtailed. Once every three years, she lets it run on a mapped path. Months later, the passage blushes pink like a sunrise, and the foxes gather fireweed. Well, that was a beautiful little box. Super excited to try all of this out. And then here in the bottom, there's always a clue to what is coming next month. Oh, Dreamer, do you love bird moss? Please share. I appreciate your feedback and reviews. Thank you, Shannon. And let's see what... Our clue is for next month. What is next month's theme? In December, meet the deer. Oh, how beautiful. And it came with a little deer charm. Oh, I love it. I'm excited. And I will be getting the box. Uh, so, She has her little, you know, pre-Black Friday sale going on. They do it. It's called the Goblin Market. She does it once a year. It's the only time things go on sale. So definitely check it out right now, guys, because um, she doesn't, you know, she's a small, single, you know, person running a small business. So she doesn't get to do sales too often. And this time of year, she always does what they call the Goblin Market. And it's going right now. So first of all, you can also use my code uh, for $10 off your first box. So uh, you'll use the code MISTY, M-I-S-T-Y, to get $10 off your first box. And that goes for uh, monthly box or, you know, multiple month subscriptions. So I went ahead and... Uh, for the sale, got myself a six-month subscription, which will equal $36 per box, and that includes the shipping. And to me, this is worth, completely worth $36. So excited about this. I'm excited to try all of this out. I can't wait to smell this cedar incense as well. And I'm excited. I really enjoyed going down, you know, through this story with you guys and revealing the items as we went through the story i think it's such a fun experience and so if you guys are interested in getting a box use code misty to get ten dollars off your first box and i can't wait let me know if you guys intend on getting it and i can't wait till uh next month for meeting the deer and then i will come back later and share my project with you guys once it's complete well, thanks for hanging out tonight, guys, and thank you, Shannon, for this amazing experience, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!